In today's video, we're going to break down how to use man coverage in Madden NFL 16. Welcome to today's video, guys. My name is Cody Ballard. We've been talking all week about the schematics, the philosophy, the, the thought process, and all of those things that go into being good at Madden. One of the things that we talked about is the five sets for success, and so far we've covered the base play, the ability to stop the run uh, with the cover two invert, kind of the idea of, of coming out into play every time uh, to really be able to kind of go up and down the field on your opponent with this one play and feel safe and feel able to simply just call it and let it let it run. Uh, and that's what we like to use as our base play. Then we've talked also about how to get blitzing pressure, how to send pressure from a zone look as well as pressure from a man look to make both blitzes look the same and also change the coverages behind it. And then next, we also talked about the idea and importance of a zone coverage defense, a, a defense that, that revolves around this uh, shell and, 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 and changing your coverages and really being able to use this as an opportunity to jump some quick passes that your opponent may throw once your blitzes have really shuttered him. Today, we're going to be talking about man defense, how to use man defense uh, as a form of coverage. Man defense is very effective. And certain things beat man every year, though, in things like crossing patterns and uh, and deep out routes, deep corner routes. Those are kind of the, the traditional man beaters. And so we're going to try to take advantage of knowing what normally beats man and try to adjust with it off of this while, to make our man defense a little more effective. So let's get into this. The formation we've been breaking down all week uh, is this um, shotgun or excuse me, um, I'm sorry, uh, but the formation we've been breaking down all week for you this week is the nickel two four five double A gap. Now this can be found in many three four playbooks. I believe that we are in the Cleveland Browns defensive playbook this afternoon, trying to look at some plays here. But the nickel two four five double A gap. What we want to do here is we want to come out in our base play, which is the nickel overload three, but we're going to audible to our quick audible up into the into our man audible, and this is sorry, I'm having some trouble. The cover one hole. Now the cover one hole, this is a, a nice play for us. What we have is we have some robber techniques underneath. We only have one high safety. Um, and so what I like to do out of the cover one hole is I like to create uh, a, a, a really the kind of a similar concept to my uh, play with the uh, cover three. I like to take both outside guys. It's going to make it look exactly like the zone defense at, at first, uh, but it's actually going to change in, in, in what, how it works. Take both outside guys, place them in deep blues. Then what I like to do from there is, and of course we move Chancellor out. What I like to do from there is I like to take these middle li this middle linebacker that's in a zone. I like to place him into a curl flat zone uh, or a flat zone. Normally the flat zone is where I'll place him. I think it drops a little better. And, uh, and then I'll take Earl Thomas and bring him down and use our control. Now this user control is going to be with specific attention to this right side of the field uh, as I have someone going into the left side. But I'm just going to try to user control, take away anything underneath, and you're going to see this is just a basic coverage. You see the cool part about this is that flat pattern is supposed to, and of course, I mean, you caught it there, but he's supposed to kind of drop in that area where the crossing patterns are going to go. Okay, so again, these guys go out, and they're pretty quick and easy adjustments. Um, that you can make to this. And you don't have to make those adjustments. You can just call a standard cover one. I like to do that to kind of make it a little safer with the two with the two deep safeties. Um, this is going to help with things like, you know, user catching if they try to go up there, up top or whatever. You know, we can kind of get out on it. But um, that's kind of the idea. Uh, one other thing to note, um, one other thing you may do with this if you want a little simpler of a setup is take KJ Wright, place him into a, uh, a flat zone. Take uh, Bruce Irvin, place him into a flat zone and then simply um, take this backer, place him into a deep third, and you're going to use this underneath in like a little zone exchange. And so you can start out kind of coming out here like this and then come back over the middle for this deep end, and you see that your defense is still going to do work for you. So that is some concepts of how to use man coverage. What we like to do is we like to drop uh, some outside zones, some flaring out zones to kind of protect against crossing patterns and corner routes. Uh, I believe that that's really important this year. Um, the other thing we really want to have at all times is I, I believe that it is, is really important this year with the aggressive catch feature to always have a, somebody deep, whether it be a middle linebacker, whether it be a safety, whether it be a defensive lineman. 
to have somebody at least going back there to tackle the guy if he does make the catch. Um, because one-on-ones this year are really difficult uh, to take advantage of. The, is the one weakness of the two for five double A gap is the sense that the cover one is not a cover two man under. Cover two man under is the better man coverage. The cover one is a little bit weak in terms of that deep coverage and also doesn't have offer that same press coverage. But we do use the cover one. We use it as a man swap up. Normally, what you're going to see is that we're going to use so many three deep shells and so many uh, you know zone coverages that when we spring this man play on them, they're going to be kind of looking more towards those short crossings, those short underneath patterns. And so when you use this play in com combination with all the other plays from your deep defense it makes it much better stock it's not great i'll be honest with you stock it's not great if, if i if i face cover one you know it's very simple to beat it's very easy uh you know i'm gonna be able to hit this route to bryant over and over and over and over and over and over and over again a hundred times out of a hundred times if he is a man-to-man -man coverage i will be able to beat him with this route to des bryant 100 out of 100 times as i say that and i get an interception but what i really mean i mean it um Literally 100 out of 100 times. If you know, if I got guys going out, let me just show you. All my guys are going out on routes. Here, Des Bryant coming across, and I think I was in zone or something. I don't know what's going on with my guys. I'm trying to show you guys really quickly, um, but I just want to show you. I want to get at the idea, the concept. Um, but like 100 out of 100 times, you know, if I throw this zig route to McFadden against man, I'm gonna win. Literally gonna win every time. But if I throw it against zone, I may have trouble. Or if I throw it against a zone blitz, I may get sacked or whatever. So when you mix all these plays together, that's really what we're getting at. This is a change-up play. It's not a core play. But it is something that you need to have in your arsenal. That if you ever want to use man coverage, you have it in your options. So thank you so much for watching this series. I really hope that it's enlightened you a, a little bit on how I like to play the game. This is going to springboard uh, an entire series we're going to be doing where we go through every single week and we break down a new defensive formation for you and a new offensive playbook for you. So you guys are going to have a ton of options by the end of this whole thing. This has been uh, a really good week so far. We got to break down the 245 double A gap, one of the newer playbook formations in the game, as well as the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. So I hope you guys really appreciate that. We also are going to have depth chart podcasts this week, when every week where we go through, we break down the best depth chart for whatever team we're breaking down. And so I think it's really going to be beneficial for you guys to stay tuned for our scheme of the week series, in which we're going to have a lot of schematics, a lot of mini schemes, a lot of things you can do to be better. We're going to be showing some of the best plays in Madden on these scheme of the week videos and I hope you guys really take advantage of it and use it um, like I said this is one of my favorite series to do and I can't wait to get back into it this year I didn't wasn't able to do it as regularly last year this year I have uh, a little bit more of an opportunity to do it and so I just cannot wait to do it and, and and really take advantage of it so thank you so much for your time thank you so much for watching this series I hope you guys get a lot of the scheme of the week to come we've got some great schemes we're going to show you how to win some win with some really bad teams uh, in men 16 thank you so much for watching if you guys are interested in anything I had to say in this video Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can see whenever I post other content. Thank you so much for your time. It means the world to me that I get to make these videos and just sit back and play Madden and enjoy.